Hello, hello. Greetings, everyone. Happy Friday. This is Shante Arati. I'm coming on with another stimulus update. So if you do see this broadcast, hi, come on in. Uh, please feel free to drop your comments, drop your questions. Please do hit the love button and also share out this broadcast to other people that you know who needs to see this information. So I'm coming on here to talk about this, the next stimulus a bill, the proposed bill that is scheduled to be voted on by the House of Representatives today. This is referred to as the HEROES Act. So this is a $3 trillion uh, proposed bill. So as you know, the previous one uh, that we, we're still reaping some of the benefits from, people are still trying to get their stimulus checks and small business owners are still trying to get some of the relief uh, from the programs that are already out there. But in addition to that, they know that there's more help that is needed. So this is a proposed $3 trillion um, bill. And so we all know that once it, it once it passes the House, then it goes to the Senate. So again, these are proposed. They have not passed. They're supposed to be voted on today. Um, and then they go to the Senate. Uh, okay. And so then they will be negotiating back and forth. So you can anticipate that there probably won't be a final decision, approvals um, between the, the finalization with the president signing until late May or June, okay? But there's some really good things in here that I think is important to the American people uh, so that I wanted to present it here for you today. Okay, so... I just wanted to start with the student loan. So if you didn't, if you didn't know or hear about the student loan uh, benefits, it's been um, talk even before the coronavirus about student loan relief. We know that there's a ton of us out here with student loans that we are wanting uh, relief. So this uh, student loan relief is included in this package. Say yay, okay. Um, but it, I think two days after they submitted uh, the bill, right, they amended it. Um, so they first came out and said that they wanted to include $10,000 uh, forgiveness, or you may call it cancellation of your student loan debt up to, for $10,000, right? $10,000 cancellation of your student loan um, debt along with they have the benefits like they have here um, now with where they're, they're you know, withholding your payment. You don't have to pay interest until September. Also um, looking to extend that. What they did was they came back and um, added the these amendments. This So this is what it is for the student loan. They want to focus on those that were in most vulnerable, um, that were having issues with payments prior to the coronavirus, okay? So who does that include? That includes those individuals who were paying zero um, to their student loans under an income-based uh, payment re uh, repayment program. I'm on the income-based repayment program. Um, if you were contingent on the contingent payment plan, if you were in default, I know a lot of you all, all out there are in default, uh, so this would apply to you. So again, it was going to be applied to like all student loans, but now it's specific to the, if you fall in these categories, again, you were paying zero under a contingent payment or income-based payment plan, you were in default, you were 90 days past due on your student loans, or your payments were suspended due to a forbearance, a deferment, hardship, unemployment, or cancer-related uh, issues prior to coronavirus. So if you're in that category, um, that is, you're in a good uh, situation. So again, that's 10K, $10,000 of loan cancellation that is proposed um, in this bill. Um, like we had the stim in the uh, previous stimulus package where everyone got the $1,200 uh, income, right, check payments, direct deposit. Some of you all are still waiting for that. Well, they're proposing to do that again, to provide a $1,200 payment per person. There are some changes with this. So it will be per person in your household up to $6,000, okay? And so this would also include... Uh, children over 16, uh, children that are in college that were not in, that were excluded under the other package because they were considered dependents. 
Well, this time it, everyone would receive $1,200 at the $6,000 cap according to this proposed uh, plan. So that is good for all of you all that if you're a college student or you're a parent that have college students that missed out on the last one, uh, this is a good scenario for you. Um, while I'm on the point of talking about college students, just want to let you know if you don't know, under the CARES Act, there's money being made available to colleges, right, to provide relief for students. So please, if you know a student, if you have a college student, please check with your college on, to, make, to see uh, if they have initiated any of those grant or relief programs and make sure that uh, to see if your child is included in that, okay? Uh, so one trillion of relief is going to state and local governments. That's something that they were fighting for that they didn't get in the previous package, of course. Um, but the states need some re some relief. The local and state governments need relief, and so that it is proposed to give them one trillion dollars. Uh, there's also going to be uh, money made available, two hundred uh, billion for hazard pay for essential workers. So that's good. Uh, in, information for those of you that are on the front lines that are essential workers putting your lives at risk every single day um, going to the job every day you deserve to be paid and so they're proposing uh, to provide you with some additional um, hazard pay uh, so there's an additional 75 billion dollars for testing um, and contract tra tracing that is going to be important for everyone because I don't know about you, but I'm not, I know that they are um, lifting stay at home orders, but I am not quick to go out into the public. Uh, the more that people are going out into the public, as we know, then the, the, uh, the cases are rising. So they, they need to have adequate testing uh, before people, they just tell people to go out and start resuming what they were no, normally doing before this event happened. Um, I don't think that we're uh, anywhere close to that, in my opinion. Um, and they need the, to have the testing and set us up so that we're safe uh, when they tell us to, to go out into the community. Um, unemployment benefits. So I talk about this a lot. Um, if you are um, on unemployment, there is pandemic unemployment assistance that is provided by the federal government, okay? That is in addition to, uh, to your state. So those that are self-employed, gig workers, independent contractors, I've told you, if you have not applied for unemployment, uh, this, this pandemic unemployment assistance program, I recommend that you do that. Um, but under the current plan, um, it the, six, the additional $600 that you get weekly benefits is scheduled to expire, I believe, July 31st, okay? So they would extend these benefits. They would extend it. Um, I think through January rather than July, and they would extend the regular like 39 week of benefits out as well. Okay, so that is good news. So if you need it, if you're unemployed, this does not mean that you can just not go back if your employer is calling you back, but they have to make make your employment safe, right? So be an advocate for yourself and make sure that your employer is doing what they're supposed to do um, and giving you options. So a lot of businesses are doing that and giving you options, whether they let you work remotely, they are already getting some of these PPP funds. And the whole point is to help you stay employed. Okay. So do work with your employer um, if you're in that uh, predicament. But we all know that not everyone that had a job and lost it will will get the same job um, after uh, this is over. So um, if you do still need the benefits, it's extended. Okay, there's going to be one one hundred and seventy five billion dollars um, um, allocated for rent and mortgage assistance. Okay, um, so we had talked about a proposal that was put out. Um, a while ago about possibly having up to um, 12 months of uh, rent and mortgage free, right, payments. Um, but that uh, mortgage and rent assistance is included. The extent of that um, is not, I don't have the details of that, but that is going to be included. So know that you're going to get assistance. And if you're, if you're, um, if you have a mortgage right now, it's probably going to be an extension of what they're doing um, already, which they have, um, said to the banks that they cannot 
like fault you. They cannot penalize you for not paying. They stop charging interest um, on any mortgages. And so they want to make sure that they extend those benefits. And that also helps the landlords who rely on your rent payments uh, to make a living. So they, they owe money too. So this is to help everyone out in that regard. Um, one of the things that was not covered that people asked for in the first um, bill was extension of SNAP benefits. So those of you all that are on um, food programs with food stamps, right? So to extend those benefits and the maximum benefits. So in here, they have a plan to increase those benefits by 15% of the maximum benefit. So just think about your benefits. Are you already receiving the max? And what that max is, that means that it will be 15% on top of that, just depending. It's based on your household income and your household size, okay? So if you have any questions, please do let me know. Even if regarding the current CARES Act stimulus, um, I know I'll be talking to a group of ladies a little bit later, actually in about 15 minutes answering their questions related to the PPP program, the PUA program, and the EIDL programs as it pertains to entrepreneurs and small business owners. Uh, there is also relief in here for the postal service. So I know a lot of people have been asking about that too because they're really struggling. And I know some of my peers that asked, like if you, if you have an opportunity, if you need stamps, go purchase, <laughs> purchase forever stamps, right? Forever stamps means they're forever that price no matter when the when the you, the postal service um increases the rates on those there for uh, stay that price uh so let's let's help them out but they're going to be providing them with some relief as well um and i think that's it that's a there's a lot to this bill um and again like i said they're going to be voting on it today there's more stimulus payment in their extension of unemployment benefits in their student loan help in there Student loan, I'm excited about that. Um, and these, th th when they put this together, they considered um, what this, you know, what the Senate would want as well. So, you know, they have been talking about up to thirty thousand dollars of student loan forgiveness, but the Senate, when they were discussing it before, was more along the lines of ten thousand. But ten thousand is good too. It's it's a start because a lot of um, people that are in de uh, default really have lower balances. So, you know, that that may work for a lot of people. So if you have a $10,000 balance right now, that would just take care of it, right? Um, so those are the updates that I have. Um, again, I would encourage you all, I, I always say, become part of the process, vote, um, get involved with your um, locally, Get involved with your your local government, your state government. Um, take action. Write letters. Like I wrote a letter to our representative regarding issues with the with the small business owners, and they sent me a letter back. So they need to know that if you are having challenges, if you don't feel like your needs are being met, or that they're addressing your uh, your concerns uh, as American people, it's upon us to let them know that they are representing us. But we have to tell them what we what we want, okay? And so you hold them accountable to that and watch them and the decisions they're making and how they vote is so important so then you can make a knowledgeable, educated decision when you show up at the polls. So I encourage you all uh, to do that, to keep that in the forefront of your mind and write your representative, take an active role in being an advocate for yourself and of and your peers and your community as well. So that is the updates that I have. I'm sure I'll be coming back again after uh, they vote on it. So I'll let you know once they vote, if it passes the House, then it's going to the Senate, okay? And then that's where the negotiation back and forth is going to be happening. Um, but there's some really good things in this bill. Um, and I'm looking forward to see how this all comes out and what the final uh, will look, the approved version will look like uh, once it's signed by the President of the United States, okay? So thanks so much for tuning in. Again, drop your questions if you have any. Um, I always do circle back. Um, and until then, do as always, um, be blessed, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.